Attorney General Elizabeth Barrett Anderson has dedicated half of her life to serving the government of Guam and the justice system, being the first Chamorro female attorney to practice law on Guam to sitting as a judge for the Superior Court of Guam. She has definitely made an impact on the island. Barrett Anderson has served as the AG for more than 10 years, her first term from 1987 to 1994, after she was appointed by Governor Joseph Ada and subsequently in 2014, after she was elected for the position. But as her term comes to an end, Attorney General Barrett Anderson confirmed she has decided not to seek re-election. I need to set my, uh, my priorities this time. When I did it the first time, I, I had priorities, but I was able to continue on the job. I had the energy, I had the support, I had everything. This time, it's just come down to an absolute personal uh, decision. I've given 38 years to the people of Guam. I've enjoyed every every bit of public service. She plans to spend more time with family, whom she attributes to all her success, and only wants to pass on the same love and support. But as her time in office comes to an end, she hopes to get as much work done with current cases. There's seven months left in my tenure, and I would be very happy if the federal district court judge closed the Ladzon case. I hope she will do that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, But it's all at the discretion of the, the federal judge right now. The Davis case will be argued uh, sometime in October. Um, hopefully the district court will render a decision uh, before the end of the year so I'll know what's happening with Davis. The Chamorro Land Trust case unfortunately will uh, carry over past my tenure. The trial on that matter is uh, scheduled for spring of next year. Additionally, when speaking on some of the accomplishments throughout her time, such as the closing of the DOC consent decree, she commends the work of the entire agency and staff. I'm very glad that I was able to have um, the wherewithal, the resources and experience and know-how to get it done to get Judge Munson's uh, order done within a month and a half. I have some great staff here at the Attorney General's office. All I did was give them guidance and leadership and the work got done. A.G. Barrett Anderson has been formally retired for 14 years and while she will be stepping down from public office, she would like to engage the community in other ways, like through nonprofits or teaching at the local university. But as she prepares to pass the position to a new successor, she does have some words of advice to share. I welcome and I encourage anyone who wants to run for this job. Uh, you need a lot of stamina, mm -hmm. uh, you need a lot of uh, tenacity, uh, strength, you need to deal with a lot of stress. But anyone who comes into this job who has not had uh, the tenure of government experience, then the next attorney general needs to rely heavily on the expertise of the attorneys in this office who are senior, long-term government attorneys mm -hmm. and take their advice and take their counsel. Someone who has not had the experience in, in government service can still be a darn good attorney general, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I certainly encourage that person to, to rely on the expertise of uh, the, the management staff here and the attorneys of the Attorney General's office. Currently, no potential candidates have filed with the GEC before individuals have picked up candidate packets for the office. They are Jessica Barrett, Alberto Tolentino, Frank Gumatauto, and Levin Camacho. For this week's Decision Watch, I'm Kiani Mediola.